Hey, what's up, guys? Here's a couple uh, beads I did. Uh, this is with the thoriated um, tungsten and new gas. I was having issues uh, with the welds, and they were um, they were just really crappy. And they re I just realized that I was out of fuel or gas fuel uh, argon. So uh, I got a new bottle today. Swapped it out. Um, and the welds are coming out a lot better than what they wore a couple days ago. Um, there's a couple other ones I did. I did my name, and then this one, these two, and then these over here. So they're looking a lot better than compared to you know some of this stuff. So uh, if you ever have, if you're having issues with your welds, if you're not getting a good uh, arc and um just it's coming out really crappy just check your gas swap your gas out or your tank and um and check your pressures out my pressures were at like 500 um on the tank and it should be around like 2000 to 1500 i guess from what the guys are saying at the um refill place so I uh, hope this helps somebody out if they're having issues with their uh, 250EX, uh, Everlast, TIG welder, or any of their other welders. Uh, check your gas and that should help you out. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, check out the links in the description for the uh, welder on Amazon and other uh, uh, consumables and torches. I just picked up this uh, CK9 torch and I'm loving it so far. It's air cooled, uh, flex head really flexible um, lead and it's just really easy to hold it's not pulling my arm down whenever I'm trying to weld and uh, messing up my arc distance and travel and everything else uh, which I'm still trying to practice on get a good consistent travel speed and uh, arc and I don't know I think it's going pretty good so far I'm gonna keep practicing hopefully um, I can start welding some stuff together that looks a lot better than this crap. So, uh, take it easy, guys, and uh, check out my other videos later.